Rocket to launch 8 CubeSat to LEO at an equidistant distance. I am working on a project, which consists of the launch of 8 CubeSat 1U to LEO low Earth orbit, and I started working on the launch part. The idea of the project is to be as cheap as possible. The problem is that CubeSats have to be separated, at the same distance or approximate from each other to create a full-time communication network for probes and satellites to Saturn and Jupiter moons. And I'm looking for a rocket capable of launching these eight CubeSats in a Zolo launch. The total load will be 0.8 kg per CubeSat so there will be a total weight of approximately 6.5 kg. The distancing could make it the last stage of the rocket or it could add a small stage of cold gas to each CubeSat to make the distancing themselves, but that would add more weight to the payload. What rocket do you recommend? Which method is cheaper, the distance by cold gas or using the last stage and go dropping CubeSats? You'll be definitely better off with thrusters on individual CubeSats, when taking the total mass, last stage plus payload, into consideration. To create the distance needed, with a single launch, you'll need to put the satellites into an elliptical orbit tangent to the target 1, but a period longer or shorter by 1 8 or an integer fraction multiple of 1 8. In this sort of problems orbital period is the defining characteristic of the orbits needed. Unlike in most other orbital mechanics problems, semi-major axis, eccentricity, velocity at the apses, all that stuff is to be derived from orbital period, and it's the period of the orbit, time to make full circle, that's the one control variable ruling all the others. For simplicity of the example, let's make the the multiplier be 1, and so the period of the orbit where the CubeSats are deployed would be 9 eighths of desired, using 7 eighths instead would be cheaper but if it's LEO, that would likely result in re-entry trajectory, so, the spacecraft deploys the CubeSats, then fires retrograde to burn up and not be space junk, or goes elsewhere to drop main payload. The first CubeSat immediately slows down until it enters the target orbit, while the rest continue on the elliptic orbit. After completing one orbit, the next satellite fires its thruster, it's one-eighth of the orbit behind the first one, it took it one-eighth longer to return to the same spot. The rest continue. Next orbit, another fires to park one-eighth of the orbit after the second, and one-quarter after the first. And so on. Now if you use CubeSats without propulsion, instead of them putting themselves into the target orbit, you have the propulsion stage slow down, deploy CubeSat, accelerate back to the 9 8 orbit with all remaining CubeSats on board, and orbit later slow down to deploy next one into target orbit, accelerate again, over and over, and slowing down or accelerating all the payload it didn't deploy yet. I hope you see how this gets awfully expensive in terms of fuel and launch mass. In practice you'd probably go with a smaller multiplier 1 8 of a LEO period as an awful lot of delta 5 and probably too much for puny gas thrusters, but instead you can enter an orbit that is, say, 65 64 of the target period, each orbit would distance the deployed swarm from the last CubeSat already in target orbit by 1 64 of the orbit, so after 8 orbits next CubeSat fires its engine and starts following the previous one, 1 8 orbit behind. I'm sorry but I won't help with picking the right spacecraft.